My name is Christy Lee Seaton, and in December 2019, I was part of a team that travelled to central Iran to document Zayezd Castle. Our intention was to use digital methodologies to document the castle with an aim to create a platform for generating higher tourist engagement and presence online. The aim of our presentation today is not only to talk about these ideas, but also to open up a general discussion to the Exarch community on possible guidelines we could have for enhancing the potential of open air museums. The village of Sayazd is approximately 50 kilometres from the historical city of Yazd. At one time, it was the biggest village in the province, owing to a constant water supply, giving plenty of fertile farming land. Today, the village has a small residential population with an influx of weekend visitors. The castle was not actually the seat of a ruler, rather it was a fortress or a citadel where the local population could go during times of siege. Um, the date of construction is open to interpretation, but the generally accepted date is during the Sassanid era, somewhere between the 3rd to 7th century AD. The citadel is surrounded by a moat and access is via a single bridge. The fortress consists of an inner and outer fortification wall, storage rooms and multiple defensive towers. There are three floors of occupation with estimates of some 1500 rooms. Many of the top levels have disappeared and based on the remaining evidence this number is probably closer to 850 rooms. The complex was arranged according to a well-drafted predetermined plan. The inner section consists of housing elements and storage rooms which were spread alongside a central road with narrow pathways and corridors. Rooms are also located between the inner and outer fortification walls but these were probably added at a later stage as the population within the walls grew. The rooms are very tight but there are some shelving and niches along the walls. My name is Miglena Rajkovska and in December last year I joined the team in a great adventure. Iran is a wonderful country, especially for people like us who are dedicating lots of their time in studying the world heritage. As a team, we share different ideas and experience, and despite some obstacles in our way, we managed to accomplish more than we had planned for the short time frame in December. Digital Sariast is a project in conjunction with the Iranian Federation of Tourist Guides Association to record the structure, providing documentation for research, monitoring, education, and preservation. This was accomplished through the creation of a 360 virtual tour, photogrammetry and high resolution panoramic photography. While working on the digital documentation of Sariast, it became apparent that the monument suffers many structural pathologies. The team created a short report of their origin and the dangers they represent for the entire stability of the complex and the architectural elements themselves. Sariast has been largely uninhabited since the 18th century and consequently has not been maintained. Its conservation and preservation present a complex problem, mainly because of the fragile character of the materials and the exposure of weathering as well as the difficulties and limitations in stabilizing such structures. The worsening condition of the structure up until recently was due to a lack of care. Maintenance is by far the best tool to guarantee the durability of the earthen architecture and the only way to conserve the Dobby structure is to restore the original constructive system as a whole. Ongoing restoration raises the question of authenticity. In cases like Sariast, where the renovation process never stops, it's hard to draw the line between old and new. The areas where entire constructive elements are lacking and clear restoration techniques should be performed, certain rules must be followed to guarantee a holistic and transparent approach. From what we observed during our field work, the restoration in Sariast follows the traditional techniques but uses smaller materials which are easily distinguishable from the original structures, thereby corresponding to the recommendations of the NARA document of authenticity. The goals of the project were to document the fortress as it stands and to create a virtual tour which could be hosted online. This tour would also serve as an online museum, giving access to the site by enabling virtual visitors who could not travel to Iran. The hope was that this could also generate interest for tourists to physically extend the site. There is scant written history of Sayaz Castle in either Farsi or English, which made discovering more of the local history challenging. What does exist are ethnographic stories passed on through the local villages. 
One such story is that of the last inhabitant, Fatima. Despite being offered a house in the village, Fatima chose to live in the castle as a caretaker until her death 40 years ago. After her death, the castle fell into a state of disrepair and was inaccessible for visiting. In 2012, a local benefactor stepped in to finance the Citadel's restoration. Mr. Saar Yazdi had grown up in the village and has since provided funding to help restore and reinvigorate the village. Because of the sanctions that are currently in place, funding can be a challenge and there are few opportunities for economic growth. As a result, the best way to protect their heritage is by repurposing it. So many sites are turned into restaurants or caravanserais and this is to raise the capital that they need to maintain the built heritage. There are many castles in central Iran, though by our perception and conversations we've had with other visitors, none have that magical quality of Sayazd. The site's caretaker, Mr. Hussein, makes tea every morning and relays stories to tourists about the castle. The workers who restore the castle provide a sense of atmosphere, and with the exception of using purchased bricks, the restoration of the castle is done using traditional techniques. The workers breathe life into the castle, adding sights and sounds and a sense of ambiance, and it also adds to that sense of truthfulness and authenticity when visiting. Breathing new life into Sayaz Castle and the surrounding village is seen as a way to entice people to visit beyond the weekend visitors during the high season. Tourism requires support infrastructure, including hospitality and transport, and this adds value to the economy through secondary business opportunities. The castle is currently seen as an open-air museum by locals, but there are more opportunities which could be taken advantage of to provide a more complete experience for tourists. Cultural tourism is recognised as a specific market segment, and within Iran, domestic tourists are quite motivated to travel uh, for intangible heritage events such as national and religious ceremonies. This also holds true for domestic and international tourists who are looking to participate in new activity. They want to engage their senses with experiences they can't, they can't have at home. Digital content has to be carefully curated to make sure that the user doesn't get overloaded with all the different types of stimuli that's being presented to them. Sayaz is made up of many different layers, textures and colours, even though on the surface it may appear just to be a singular shade of brown. If we use digital me me media correctly, we could actually enhance the user experience at the site by carefully choosing when to engage them. One technique is through the use of QR codes where they could scan at specific places in the structure to play audio or video on their personal mobile device. The importance of handicrafts as intangible heritage is well established in Iran. In Isfahan, there are 9,000 craft and folk art workshops across 167 different disciplines. The layout between the inner and outer fortification walls lends itself to hosting market stalls in the same vein as a, as a bazaar where local handicrafts could be sold. The selfie is a modern form of storytelling. In order to get people to move away from taking a single iconic shot, we could place frames around the site in safe places where photos could be taken and encouragement given to add hashtags and such to post images to social media as a way to promote the site. Another suggestion would be to set up a treasure hunt inside the castle. Groups could have clues given to them with objects planted and the winner would take home an award. And the idea is that this award would give them warm memories when looking at it on their mantelpiece. The main barrier for some of these ideas is seasonality. Currently, we do not have an answer for how to overcome this. It requires a lot more thought and discussion with stakeholders. While traveling around Yazd, our team was able to enjoy cultural experiences as tourists visiting Iran. This exposed the team to the unique events being developed to cater to the needs of contemporary cultural consumption. We believe that the village of Saryazd has the capacity to provide a variety of attractions and accommodations for its visitors. Following are presented ideas discussed with the Iranian Federation Tourist Guide Association. Creating bed and breakfast accommodation in local houses, which will allow visitors to dive into Iranian's modern culture while enjoying local traditions and cuisine. Boutique hotels and restaurants. A comfortable stay will allow long-term reservations, which will lead to a higher spend ratio in the local economy. 
Active tourism connects local culture and environment and it's a low impact, socially sustainable way of traveling. Desert safaris, nomad tents and theme routes are engaging the local community, providing them with jobs while offering a different perspective on Iranian's nature. Until the long-term goals are accomplished, ways should be found to increase tourist flow to Saryast. Merging reality into a virtual world opens many possibilities for researchers, scholars and future tourists. A virtual environment allows visitors to access the site from abroad and to experience user-friendly narratives. Moreover, such data is a digital archive which preserves the knowledge and conditions of the site at a certain point in time, such as in a museum setting, a namely remote viewing of those spaces that are difficult or impractical to access physically or do not exist anymore. As mentioned above, the charm of Saryaz is in the stories told and the hospitality shared. The objective of the second stage of Digital Saryaz is to tell the intergenerational stories of the locals to the public, creating a narrative for online visitors. The virtual guided tour will allow a visitor who has never been in Saryaz before to walk there virtually. The project aims to create not just a virtual visit, but more a museum exhibition revealing the importance of this particular heritage. Saryazd Castle is like a gem, hiding in plain sight in the middle of the desert. Part of the immense cultural heritage of Iran, it is unique in its architecture and history, but chiefly in its ambience. While working there for almost two weeks, we discovered new unexplored areas every single day. Our do job was to document it, but our hearts quickly fell in love and joined the mission to protect it. We wrote this paper because we want to show Saryazd to the world and to collect knowledge and ideas for its future promotion and preservation.